wanted to make a video now and to share with you guys a hack. Uh, namely, this is how I learned my coup de quatre. And um, yeah, it is a stupid hack. It looks dumb. Just don't mind it. Uh, bear with me. It worked for me, maybe. It will work for you. What you're going to need is a piece of paper. Uh, you want it to be um, a, a, a bit thick. You don't... Don't just grab anything out of the printer. I already drew a circle on that. I just used a planter or a plate. So yeah, this is big, big enough. Uh, black marker. Uh, some scissors. And this is a piece of tape. This is washi tape. Um, this uh, is going to not leave any residue on your uh, finish on your instrument that's important so uh, you want something very mild so washi tape like this is good and um, you have to cut out the circle first so I'm gonna do that and then tell you what this is about um, I have been playing the hoodie goodie for a little less than four years and the coup de quatre that took me a good two years to get and I've been practicing it for a long long time and I got some amazing lessons uh, Barnaby uh, Walters like helped me out with a private lesson I have loads of lots of amazing teachers but I only could ever to do it once like one two three four and then starting at the bottom and I could never get any further, further than that. Scott Marshall really helped me out. But I was just stuck still after two years. And what I did then, I, um, I made a slow motion video. And uh, like if you have a smartphone, there should be an app on there so that you can do that. I made a slow motion video and I me immediately saw what was wrong. Um, which was um, my placement of where I would put the coops uh, because it goes so fast that it is very difficult to see uh, to see and uh, somehow yeah I like I knew exactly what the movements were supposed to be but I got that little wonky in my head and I put them at the wrong place so that was the reason why I could do it once but not further so I needed something to um, get the placement of the coops right. And that is why I thought of this. So I got my circle. And then you need to poke a hole in the middle. Like it doesn't really matter. You can make it if you make you can make a really nice one in Photoshop and print it out, but it it doesn't come to the millimeter. <laughs> this this is fine. And then you take your marker, and I'm going to do a coup de quatre. So I'm going to mark four points, like one, two, three, four. Now I have this. I have the circle with the hole in the middle and the four points marked. And now I'm going to take off my crank and what <laughs> hope you can see this. I'm gonna take off my crank and you can just grab this if if your good is the same, you can just grab the sides of your wheel. Let me take the strings off. So you can just Grab the side of your wheel, hold it, and then twist back. Ta-da! It's quite easy. And put it on my axle. And I am putting the crank back. And you see it is turning now. And that is where the washi tape comes in. And what I did is just take like a little bit and then stick it backwards like that so you have this circle with the sticky side on the outside 
and you can see you can maybe see where this is going uh let me just get my little bit it's good uh you can maybe see where this is going um yes first you have to find uh the one point and the one coop is is like you're putting down a hammer and i like it just about there there so that is where i place my one oh. so i'm going to put the tape behind it and then then i have some fixed point of references i am now looking at the selfie camera but now i have some fixed point of references that i can look at to see if i have the placement of my coops right so and what I do now is put the trompet on and put it very, very, very sensitive. So you just need a very tiny movement to make it rattle. Now very slowly on me. And if you, I am not looking in uh, the viewfinder on my phone, but um the best thing is just to sit next to a mirror and then you have this reference point and then you can connect that without going like oh i think it is supposed to be there so this is one and then the two is that you kind of like pull back like opening a drawer and then the three is up picking up a hammer and then the four is closing. So, um, and then if you get, if you're like, okay, I got this, then you take the trumpet tension, the tiron tension down a bit. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, uh, that's it, kind of. <laughs> um, I know it looks really dumb, but uh, this is what really, um, this is what I needed to get the, um, to get the placement right, so I could do the technique properly. So, uh, yeah, I think we want to end it here. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you need some help with your coops, then you can give this a go. Okay. Bye.